Okay, so the question posed is how do I get my out of the box framing tags from the structural template that look like this or this to look something more like this, which is more akin to my drafting standards. Okay, and this happens to be an, an image, so this doesn't actually exist yet in the project. All right, so to do so, first of all, we need to know what our framing tags are referencing as far as the system view type and the loadable family type and uh, and loadable family and type. So I'll click on the framing elevation, an instance of it here, click on edit type, and you'll see that the elevation tag associated with the framing elevation is the half inch circle elevation tag ta type. I'll click on the ellipsis and I'll duplicate this because it's possible I suppose that you may be using this same tag type for other view types in the project and I don't want to overwrite that in an overwrite those inadvertently. I just want to f affect the framing elevation. So I'll call it CC underscore half inch circle. And for the elevation mark, uh, I just want to make a mental note of this. It's elevation mark body circle underscore circle. That's the family. And then filled arrow and view name is the type being uh, used. So I'll click off that. And the next thing I'll do then is I will edit the loadable family here. So I'll select the loadable family, which this is the one we were talking about right click edit this takes me into the family editor and again I don't want to necessarily overwrite the out of the box content so I will do a file save as family and we'll just place this on my desktop of course you want to place it in your family library and I'll call it CC underscore elevation mark body circle save and uh, the next thing we just want to explain real quick is the way this these families work so you have a host family where you have in this case the the sheet number and the circle geometry but then the pointers are actually nested families that are brought into the little family so you've got kind of a hierarchy and we'll edit that later but first we'll edit the host family so I will uh, basically move this down to where I want it to be I will draw here and the other thing I might want to do real quick let me just do this Let's do you have this look like or the the type that I'm currently using with the filled arrows and the the references and the view names okay so let me draw a line here across from quadrant to quadrant and then I'll go to create and place a label and we'll place a label the actual detail number and probably want to place that nice and centered so it looks good and then we'll uh, we'll save our family here and we'll load it into the project okay nothing's changed because we need to actually then have our framing elevation type reference the new CC elevation mark body circle so I'll select one of those edit type and for my CC half inch circle type I'll find that particular family here in the pull down. So filled arrow and view name, click OK, click OK here. So that's progress. We still have some work to do, but we now have this looking right. Okay, so the next step uh, would be to uh, go back to the host family for uh, that little family. Okay, and let's. Uh, and what we need to edit now is the nested family and get those labels right. Okay, so I'll select one of these and it's the same family. I'll edit that family. And here what we'll do is we'll get rid of the the detail number label because we don't want it outside of the body so we'll just uh, delete that and then we will uh, edit this label so it is center justified and we'll just nudge this over so it's nice and in the middle there okay and uh, while I'm thinking about it before we save this let's save this as family and again we don't want to overwrite uh, this nested family because this nested family is probably being referenced in several other families as well so 
again, good practice here. Just go ahead and save it as. And then load it not into the main project, but into the host family that we're working with. And I'm not going to place one here. I'm just going to click Modify. It's now loaded. If we click on the families here, Annotation Symbols, we'll see both of our pointers. Now, it'd be great if we could just select all four of these, and I'll just select two, and just swap these out for the other one. The problem with that is that there are constraints set with these. So I'm going to cancel that. And we're going to just delete all four of these out because that way we won't have to worry about constraints and weird graphics later. Okay, so they're deleted. I'll go back in here and we're interested in this one, right? This uh, filled arrow and view name. So I will create an instance, place it here. And for some reason, it doesn't want to come in with a right uh, type, but we'll just change that here in the type selector. And that's the right one. We'll use our move tool and then I'll type an SC at the keyboard. Uh, twice uh, to get the basically center snap point. You'll see it's in the right spot now. And we need four of these, right? Because we may have the elevation position in different locations, or we could have potentially two different shear walls referenced off the same body. So I will uh, select this and I will copy to the clipboard and then paste it in place basically three more times. So now we have four of these on top of each other. And I'll select one of them and hit my spacebar. So I hit it once to get it in that position. I'll hit it twice to get it 180 degrees and then three times to get it in the 270. So we should have one of these in each location. Probably not a bad idea. Just select them all, delete them once real quick, make sure I don't have any on top of each other. And that looks good. So once I do that, I'll go ahead and load this into the project. overwrite the existing and its parameters. And so the only thing left then would be then to rename these views. So elevation 1A is going to be SW1 and elevation 2A is going to be SW2 or 3 or whatever it is. Let's make it SW3 just for the heck of it. And if shear wall 2 was over here, we'll just tag that on and make sure that that was SW2. Now I'm not going to go into it here, but you could, if you wanted the or the uh, the names of the, let's see, trying to get the wall. If you wanted the names of the views and the names of the shear walls to be separate, you could potentially use a shared parameter that referenced uh, the shear wall name and then bring that into your tags. That's another method, but hopefully, again, this gets you a little bit closer to what you were trying to do graphically. Okay, and if you have any questions, follow-up questions, let me know.